All right, this is, a, this is an amazing revelation. So I wanted to speak regarding what the Holy Spirit has shown me. The uh, Let's see here. The three weeks. The three week fast of Daniel. Is, this is absolutely astounding. So uh, where I want to begin in 1 Kings 18. 1, 2, 4. This is amazing. This is absolutely astounding. So I'm going to do, go really, really quick. As fast as I possibly can. I'm just going to touch on the points I'm going to move really fast as fast as I possibly can as the Holy Spirit gives me speed and utterance so I have this um, heading famine great falling away 2017 to 2020 right now what I got to do is I'm going to have to do an edit because I have to get the time chart I got them all uh, I got these specific time charts there's more but these are all what I did is I I have these clipped together so I don't have to always be searching for them all the time this is the one I'm after good so I'm ready to go all right first Kings 1 amazing this is massive this is just amazing it, this is open it, it is opening the air the open word for the day the Bible open Okay, so, and it came to pass after many days that the word of God came to Elijah in the third year saying, go, show thyself unto Ahab and I will send rain upon the earth. In the third year, so this is, this year is 2019. And, and I'm just going to keep going through here. So, and then I'm going to get into the, into the, um, the fine print here. Okay, so. Uh, God says, go show yourself to Ahab, and I was the king of Assyria, and I will send rain upon the earth. And, and so Elijah's preaching the gospel, and God's going to send rain upon the earth. Okay, and this is, this is, another, this is the three days of darkness here. Okay, so you have this third year, three years here, three years here. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. Okay? So the famine in Samaria is three years. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord. This is the prophet. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said to Obadiah, Go into the land unto all fountains of water. So, here. Verse 1 to one, 2 is the remnant in the church. So you have like the... the um, here's the prophets here. They cut off the prophets. Obadiah took hundreds of prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave. So these are the remnant. And they're the prophets and they're coming out right now. But there's still the ones that... Um, are going to are still in the church. He's going to call them out. They're going to be spewed out. It's the it's the uh, the martyrs for Christ, and we have the um, and I've I've seen them together at uh, some of them. Um, when they're um, I was I have to I have to say it. I, I've already mentioned it once when I was at that rally, uh, the unmasked uh, the anti mask they call it. It's a freedom march. I, there, some of them there are first fruits, and. Uh, verse 5 to 6, the Holy Spirit revealed um, some things. Uh, I don't want to get into that. Here we are. In, so, and Ahab said to Obadiah, so in verse 5, is, is um, Ahab said to Obadiah, Go into the land, unto all the fountains of water, and unto the, uh, all brooks. Pre-adventure we may find grass to save, and horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided in the land between them to pass through it. And Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went the other. Okay, this is amazing. So this is the uh, uh, the um, deliverance that is being made between the children of God and the uh, and Lucifer. It's the, it's, it's, it's the salvation that the Holy Spirit goes out 
and then and then Lucifer goes out as well. Okay, so they divided the land between them to pass through it, four corners of the earth, and they divided the land. It went right through the two parts. Okay, it goes. It pierces through asunder where the dividing of the soul and the spirit. And this is there's more on this further. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went the other by himself. And Obadiah was in a way. Behold, so this is. So I'm going to go to verse 21. Okay, there's it's it's all it's all decoded here. I just want to go quick. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long uh, held ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if the Baal, then follow the dividing sheep and the goats. And the people answered him not a word. And so it's the sealing judgment, it's the execution. Okay? And so this here is the, is 2020. It's the sealing judgment of the execution. And I'm going to get into all this. Um, and so the seal and judgment execution between B.C. 1 and A.D. 1, the statue of King Nebuchadnezzar, as the Holy Spirit revealed to me in all the different reports, was carried over into the New Age. It walked into the New Age. It was a carryover. And once again, it must pass under the rod of God in, 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 the, in the year 2020. God says, and this is all decoded, to pass under the rod. It's the one-tenth. It's the ephah. It's the one-tenth Omer offering. It's the finger of God. It's the one-tenth of all the people of the inhabitants of the world who pass under the rod with the favor of God. And so it is a, a stage of development. It happens every, every time of judgment. And uh, so that's what the, the statue of Nebuchadnezzar is doing right now. The whole world right now is passing under the rod of God in 2020. In 2020. 2020 in verse 23, so here's, um, Then said Elijah unto the people in verse 22, uh, I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal, so this is, the, this is the Holy Spirit in the people, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. So four, 450, four is the, uh, I have it written here, uh, is the fourth dimension. Five is the dominion. Okay, it's written down here somewhere. And five is the dominion. So that's 45. Uh, four, five is the Holy Spirit. Is, but it's also the fourth dimension. It's also the spirit of Lucifer, uh, the king of Assyria. And 450. Let them therefore give us, uh, give us two, uh, verse 23, bullocks, oxes, and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood and put it no fire unto it. So it's, they're going through the two pieces of the calf. And the bullock is, is the, uh, the ox. And that is either the spirit, the Holy Spirit, or the bales of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. So they, they cut the pieces and they're going to walk through the pieces. And, and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood. Two bullocks. And so you have the one they cut in half and then they choose one bullock for themselves to cut in pieces, lay it on the wood and put it in the fire. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on the wood and put it no fire and put no fire under Okay, so there's two bullocks. There's one for each. And these ones are going to cut them in pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is like fragmentation. You're going to cut it all in pieces, lay it on the wood, and put no fire under it. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire un un under it. Okay? So I guess this is how they would do their bullock, and, 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 uh, uh, and God had Isaiah dress it a certain way to do it for God, I guess. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. So verse 23 is, verse 23. So there's two bullocks, okay? And this is the fire that has to be put under the bullocks, the bullocks of, the, of Baal, of Lucifer, and the bullocks of, of uh, God passing under the rod. And it's a separation. Of, it's, it's, it's the uh, favor of 
of uh, the children of Lucifer versus the, ch the, the, the children of God. Okay? And I call you on the name, and I, I call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and call you on the name of your gods, okay, the bales of Lucifer, all the pieces. So you have all the pieces, all the gods of the world. This here is the gods of the altar of Samaria, all the gods that they're worshiping. So he says, call the name of your gods, and I will call the name of the Lord, and the great God shall answer. And, and the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Okay. So, um, in verse 27, and it came to pass at noon. Okay, so the sun is fully risen. And Elijah mocked them and said, cry aloud, for he is a God. For he is a God. Either he has taken... Uh, is talking or he's pursuing or he's in a journey prevents he sleepeth and must be awakened and they cried aloud and cut themselves and God says well how long will you cut this is the practice of the Shia Muslims and um, they cut themselves it's a blood sacrifice to Lucifer Satan the devil now they do it in different ways right now they do it with other bodies in this covenant age and they did it with in the same way that way in that age as well and it came to pass when midday was passed and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice nor any answer nor any that regarded. Any to answer, any, any that regarded. So, uh, the devil is not going to intervene in those ways. God won't allow it or the devil is just not going to respond. And its ploy is to say, they'll say, well, we didn't do it right or whatever. Okay. So, as they, they come up with that excuse as well. So that's in Leviticus 23, 27, regarding the affliction. Uh, in the, the Feast of Tabernacles, they are to afflict themselves, right? And God says in Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah also says, how long will you cut yourselves? Okay, because you're not going to get any answer as you're going to get here. So this is what happened. So Elijah said unto the people, come near to me. And all the people came near to him. Verse 30. In 31, okay, and uh, took, he tw took 12 stones. He repaired the altar that was broken down. 12 stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob. So this is the government of God. Unto whom the word of the Lord came. So you have 10, which is walking through the judgment. 11 is the execution of the judgment. And then 12 is what comes out of it. And there's the 12 stones, the breastplate of Aaron. Unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built the altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar as, a great, as, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And so this is the seed that that uh, is uh, of the two covenants. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces also. Same thing. And laid them on the wood and said, Fill four barrels of water. This is the four corners of the earth. These four barrels represent the wheels within the wheels of Ezekiel, the water courses of humanity, the wheels of God moving the wheels of humanity. This is in verse 33. The wheels, the Holy Spirit poured out fully. The four corners of the earth, of the elect. It's, it's, to, it's in the elect. The elect of God is where the fullness thereof. This is a, it was, they were full. Fill. He filled four barrels of water, put on the burnt sacrifice. That's a human being. And on the wood, and he said, Do it the second time, and they did it the second time, and he said, Do it the third time, they did it a third time, and the water ran about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. This is a wheel. It was okay, so it's like the wheel. It it, it went it went around the four corners of the earth. It, it, it's the in the altar, the sacrificial altar. Okay. And uh, it's three, flesh, soul, and spirit. And it goes on the burnt sacrifice is to be a fourth dimensional offering. So here in verse 34, three years also, I wrote down flesh, soul, and spirit. That's because of the menorah. We got, we got three years, flesh, soul, and spirit. 
2017, 2018, 2019 in order. And then in verse 35, the wheels within the wheels, the water courses. Verse 37 to 40, return in the spiritual realm. This is so what, what's happening in 41. Okay, so Elijah said to Ahab, get thee up, eat, drink, for there is a, uh, a sound of abundance of rain. So Elijah goes to the king of Syria, get thee up, in verse 40. Oh, so I missed this here. So, so God answers, and then the Lord, and they say, the Lord is God. He is God. The Lord is God. So Elijah seized the opportunity. He said to them, take the prophets of Baal, let none of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them. So this is salvation. Okay, this is what Jesus said in uh, Luke 9, I think it was. Uh, as for those who would not have me reign over them, bring them here and slay them before me. So now we do this spiritually. We don't do it physically. So they died believing in the power of God. You see? And so that's how the salvation came for them. In those days. Not in this covenant age. Not in this covenant age. That's why Jesus said that days will come when men will kill you and think that they're rendering God a service. In verse 41, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat, and drink. For there is a sound of there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. So he went to on the earth, right? He cast himself upon the earth, as he did. He brought life as Elisha, I think it was, um, when he cast himself upon the um, the boy. Who, who died, who he prophesied that the woman was to receive, and he got his life back again, and he, he, what did he do? I think he coughed seven times. And, well, this is exactly so. Elijah cast himself down upon the earth and put his knees, his face between his knees. What he did, the face of the man is the spirit of man, and the spirit of man is in between the calf, the two parts. Okay, uh, uh, Hebrews 4, where the Word of God cuts asunder. It's living. It cuts asunder at the dividing where the soul meets the spirit. And uh, it's the, and that's how God makes His Word known. And, and everything says uh, is, is, is laid bare and naked and lays everything bare and naked. Everything is laid bare, uh, is laid bare and naked before Him whom we must do and must give account. And so that's what he was doing here. So Elijah went up to the and, and he went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, put his face between his knees, and he said to his servant, "Go up now, look toward the sea." And he went up and looked. So and said, "There's nothing." So this is this here is the first king. So he pierces through the rivers. There is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. So it's what pierces through is the first and the eighth king. And he said, go again seven times. So this is the, this, this is the first time. And then he says, okay, you got to go, go, go seven times now. And it came to pass. So here we have, uh, I don't want to get too far behind, verses, verse 41. Basically, what this is, he's saying, to Ahab, he's saying, what you're about to do, do it quickly. Okay? There it is. So, what you're about to do, King of Syria, you do it quickly. That's what God said to um, Judas Iscariot. What you're about to do, do it quickly. It's ready. I'm ready to go on the cross. The rain is coming. Okay? There's an abundant rain that's about to come. So there's uh, Jesus Christ, he's in jury, and he's in great tribulation, and then he's put on the cross, he's crucified, he's murdered, and then he rises. Okay, so we have the chart, okay, regarding that, and I have the years here, uh, yeah, here they come, so here's a... The years, here let me get this one chart, 
So this is what the Holy, this is the time chart. Once again, Jesus Christ on the cross, and then the church, this is the, uh, and then the church here finishes off in great tribulation. You have the Passover, the Passover, and you have Pentecost here. The church goes through Pentecost, okay? During the, as the feast days. The feast of Pentecost is three days. That's what they're saying. They celebrate it for three days, okay? So, um, so here you have the Passover, the Passover, the Passover. Then you have the transition here. This is the, the center of the menorah. So you have 2013, 14, and 15, the first three years. This is the seven years have begun from December 25, 2012. And then you have the three years. Then you have the center of the menorah. You have the six months and the six months, then the 42 months. And it is the church to do. It's at Pentecost because they don't do it during Passover. We don't do it during Passover because God did the Passover. And so it goes to Pentecost. And then, uh, and then uh, it... Um, and then you have the great, the great, then you have the, the six months is here. And then you have the six months. He's the first and the last. And uh, so you have the, 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 the six months here as well, here and here, plus the 42 months. And then you, and then you have the three years in here. Okay. And, and brings it to 2020. So this is the, 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 the 2017 is one two and three years this is the three years that daniel fasted this is the three years right here and 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 uh this is uh i'm going to this page now isaiah 37 30 1 king 17 1 to 4 and 6 to 7 we're going to get into those as well possibly in another video so um so here is 2016 so let's see here uh, what you are about to do, do it quickly. For the abundance of rain of which is ready to manifest. Okay? So that's what, that's what, uh, so they're going between, so they're dividing, they're going to the sheep and the goats, their sheep and their goats. Okay? Ahab is the king of Assyria, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, Elijah is the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Okay? Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundant rain now. It's the voice of the bridegroom. Come out to meet the bride. So Ahab went up to eat and drink in this this time right now, the revival. And it because we're we're at the very we're at the beginning of a revival right now. It is the revival right now happening. Ahab went up to eat and drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the earth, Jesus Christ, in the garden, uh, the Mount of Olives, put his face between his knees, and he said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up, and look, there, there was nothing. And he said, Go again. The four winds of heaven is stirring up the seas now. And says, and it came to pass that at the seventh time, the beauty of perfection, he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud, this is the little horn, out of the sea, like a man's hand. It's the whirlwind. And he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And so, what is happening here is that verse 40, so verse 20, 43, verse 42 is between the two parts for convicting and saving of the nations, okay? Verse 42, right here, put his face between his knees. And here we have his spirit. And he said to his servant, in verse 43, seven times is 2013 to 2020. It's, it's, um, it's, it's the cycle of the menorah. Okay, so it's 20, or I, it, this is a, the seven-year cycle of 2012, December 25, and 2019, December 25. Okay, this is the seven-year cycle that, that the Holy Spirit showed me that leads to 2020. This is the seven-year cycle here. Okay, so there's seven-year cycles within seven-year cycles within seven-year cycles within seven-year cycles. Okay, different times. This is the seven-year cycle. 
the Holy Spirit showed me. And this is a Sabbath year. This is this is the year of years of Isaiah 37, 30, Sabbath, Jubilee, 70th year, and the year of eating the produce. These are the years. So Daniel prayed in 2016. That was his prayer. And this was his fast. He prayed the Sabbath year, and then he fasted the three weeks. One, two, three. Okay? And this is the three weeks of the seven-year cycles, and then the fourth week is a new moon. It can it, it, it can happen any time. It's not seven days. It can be six days. It can be nine days, eight days. could be five days. could be seven. But who knows what it is? They don't know. But these three are certain. These are seven, seven, and seven. And once again, 2020 is the 53rd year, the fullness of the Gentiles. This is the no more delay year. This is the year, it's always the year of sealing, these years. It's sealing, it's walking through judgment, it's execution of judgment. And it is another thing, it is um, uh, for the dominion. So, so here in verse 43, seven times, here we have, at the end of seven times, you have the eighth king manifests. Out from the judgment comes the eighth king. And then it's tw from 2016, which is, uh, once again, a Sabbath year. Okay? Uh, from where Daniel was fasting. So, we have here in verse 44, Little Horn, Daniel 7 and 8. He goes into perdition. The reign of judgment is not stopping, is the eighth king. Revelation 16, 9 and 11, 9 says they won't re repent. Re Revelation 16, 11, they won't repent. 20, 21. So, uh, the eighth king goes into perdition. He comes out of the altar in 2017. 2016, he's inaugurated. He's elected in 2016. Daniel prays. 2017, he's inaugurated. Daniel begins his fast. This is the Jubilee year. This is where the administration, everything is, everything is being assembled together. You see? And so this is where Jesus went and prayed in the grave the first day. This is where Jesus preached the gospel. Here, Pentecost, Pentecost. And this is where um, uh, G the resurrection was here because it's the sealing. And it's done in the spirit of humanity first, and then the judgment. It has to be fulfilled through the spirit the entire year. Okay? And we're seeing it happening throughout the year. 2020, absolutely classic. Okay? The COVID-19 comes out here in December 21. And then, a year later, the vaccine is distributed in 2020. It's absolutely, the whole year was vaccine. The whole year was COVID-19, rather. 2021, the whole year will be vaccine. The first woe of the first rider, the first rider here, of of uh, the devil. You, you see the four corners of the earth of Lucifer, the four corners of the earth of the devil. There's mixtures as well. And that, the mixtures, is what deceives the greatest, isn't it? So, uh, here in... Verse 44, fourth dimension, five is dominion over the creation through the five senses of humanity according to how it's being, according to how humanity is subduing the earth in 44. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, the little horn comes out like a man's hand, and he said, go up. Say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. So this is the great tribulation. So here, okay, here is a seven-year cycle beginning from the war trumpets of Revelation. So if you start this cycle in 20, in, uh, in uh, 20, uh, 2010, you have the seven-year cycle. So Jesus Christ 
here you have the seven year cycle if you start from 2010 and here you have but here you have the three years where the church is going through great spiritual tribulation so but Jesus went on the cross for one one time so you have the seven years here and then 2020 is the great tribulation it's the great tribulation for 666 so here you have the seven times behold there arise the little cloud out of the like a man's hand and he said go up say unto Ahab prepare thy chariot and get thee down so in 44 they're both uh, the little horn Daniel 7 8 go into perdition okay and there was uh, two little horns that came up in Daniel 7 and 8 there was uh, Barack Obama is the little horn that came up here this was his last term the last term of Barack Obama was 2012 and so he uh, he did his last term King Nebuchadnezzar the little horn and then Donald Trump comes out with the little horn and that administration gets transformed into the son the into the son of perdition okay that's where the seven years is okay of the devil and let's see in verse 44 fourth dimension is five so it came to pass so here is a little horn go up say to Ahab prepare thy chariot and get thee down prepare the manifestation of the sons of Satan prepare your ch your chariot and get thee down and go that the rain stoppeth thee not see he says in Isaiah if you will prevail continue in what you're doing see if you'll prevail I've warned you I've spoken to you but you have rejected my voice all you who are lighting those firebrands continue all you and all the all the sparks of your of your flames and uh, this is what you'll receive from my hand you will lie down in torment right see he says it right plain he says go and do it and see if you're going to succeed because you're not listening you're not turning and and so that's what's happening here and in verse 40 45 that's how Ahab is subduing the earth that's the king of Assyria Satan Lucifer saying the devil in verse 45 whirlwind of the northeast Daniel 11 44 and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel the valley of Megiddo and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah the first fruits Pentecost is the feast of first fruits and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel he went first um, to go into the entrance of Jezreel gird up his loins to go and uh, and, and and do the uh, the works of God to have the victory and to go before and to bring blessings to bring the fullness of the salvation into fruition and uh, to be the front runner and and to have the victory to stand 144,000 walk through in order as a witness as a testimony they go into the battle like a horse they step into the great tribulation they step into the fire because they're witnessing a testimony to the entire creation the faithfulness of God that's in humanity it's needful for God and they they give their lives to God so here in the three-week fast of Daniel Isaiah 37 30 so I have to find these verses use the King James and he shall be a son unto thee and this shall be a son unto thee you shall eat this year such as growth of itself 2017 2016 2017 it depends on the covenant and the second year that which springs of the same and the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruits thereof so the fruits are being eaten in 2019 if we start in 2017 this is eaten 
uh, at 2019. If you start in 2016, this is eaten at the end of 2018. And then in 2019 is the spirit of humanity, the self-will of the spirit of humanity uh, under the, the, the eyes, the watchful eyes, the four wheels of the four corners of the earth of God watching humanity, leaving humanity to do their thing, everybody being rewarded in, you know, uh, accordingly. And so the produce, we eat the produce of our own individual lives at the end of the day. That's why God says to stay away from all worldly associations. That's why he says that. And so in 1 Kings 17, and Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, Balm of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand, there shall not be dew or rain these years, but according to my word. Okay, so, no rain, no dew, there shall be no dew or rain these three years. And so, what God says in Amos, Amos chapter... Uh, uh, 8 verse 11 he says that there comes a time this is the 1 Kings 18 2 okay, 1 Kings 18 2 where I will bring a famine in the land not from hearing the word of God but not, not from food rather because the ravens were feeding Elijah but from hearing a famine but from a famine in the land Okay, so there's a three-year famine in Samaria for hearing the word of God. Okay, and that 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 those are the three days, three days of darkness. And so God says, let everyone go to their quarter, let everyone continue to be wicked, continue to be wicked, right? Everybody who is righteous continue to be righteous. Let everyone who is holy continue to be holy. Let everyone, everyone who is filthy continue to be filthy. And he says that all who are to be, who who, put, who bring into captivity let, shall go to captivity. All who kill by the sword will be killed by the sword, and let all flesh devour one another. That this is the three days of darkness. Three days of darkness. Okay. So we have uh, the uh, the three days when Elijah was was uh, walking naked and barefoot, and uh, that was in. Um, can we finish this? That was in, let me just do this before I forget, in case, um, that was uh, when he, uh, that's the great spiritual tribulation. And then you have the three days of darkness, the great physical tribulation, when the famine comes from here in the Word of God. You see, so, so that's, that, those are the three years that, that Elijah was walking. And that, that nakedness represents transparency before God. It's the three days. It's the three days. The Sabbath the Jubilee, and the 70th year, all lining up perfectly. And there's lots happening. You, you watch those, those other videos, that, that were just recent videos. Of, there's a lot happening in these years. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook of Cherith that is before Jordan, and it shall be that thou shalt drink by the brook that I have commanded the ravens. This is a faith verse, okay, to feed thee, okay? The ravens are, are, are devils. And so that's why God says, I'll make them come to you and bow down to you and acknowledge that I have loved you. You see? That's the victory. They listen, okay? What the devils do is they follow God with flatteries. If you can imagine it, if you can envision in the light vision, how the, the, the devils, okay, they follow, like, let's say if you're in a rally and um, you think you're in a, it, it, there's mixtures, and the people, let's say they want, they want to quench your fire from the Holy Spirit. And so they walk with you and they, uh, they turn your wanting to do justice into, into death. They follow with flattery. So they're flattering the person. That's what the devils do. They're flattering God. And then they're... I saw it in light vision. And then they're... Um, they're taking upon their own justice. Right? To, um, 
to do this, these acts of, of, of violence and wickedness that they're doing. Okay, so uh, so here, so what? The, but what they're doing is is they will they will follow you with flatteries. Okay, that means that they will feed you, right? They will they'll follow you with flatteries. And so here in uh, so we have First Kings one. 17 1 to 4 and 6 to 7 so and 6 to 7 says and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and he drank of the brook and it came to pass the brook is a disappearing thing it's 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 it's, it's not uh you see god had him to drink out of the, the brook as he was being fed by the ravens the brook is unreliable it's here one day it's gone the next and it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And that's why people are being deceived. There is no Holy Spirit. There is no dominion. The church has lost the dominion. And it's, it's not just all bad punishment on the church. God is closing the age. You see? And so this was prophesied to happen. And really what it hangs on is if... Lucifer will repent or not. That's how simple it is. If he would have repented, God would have never had to go to the cross. It would have happened right there. It says so in his word. And so in James 5, 17, so, the, so Elijah went to present himself to Ahab. Now the famine was severe in Samaria. Samaria is the altar of the false gods that Christianity is serving. Okay? It's, that's what it is. It's all the gods of the East. That's why God had Elijah go to the East to destroy the works of all the false gods. He brought Elijah in the midst, right, of the East scorching wind. Put your, turn your face toward the East and cut through and hide thyself in the brook Cherith. What is it? Cherithim? Cherithim? Cherubs, Cherith, this is the devil, Lucifer, that is before the Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. In great tribulation, in the thickets of the Jordan, he says, if you don't fare well in your own country, how will you manage in the thickets of the Jordan? So Elijah, he uses, a, he uses the creation to destroy the creation. And so Elijah, he destroyed it all. And so here in James 5, I'm looking for James 5, there shall be three days pestilence in your land. What do you choose, David, like King David? What, what, what would you rather have? But here God mentions three days of pestilence, which is COVID-19. And in, in thy land. So right now, you know, we're, uh, we're in the, the year of the, the judgment year. It's a year of, once again, it's, it's, it's in the center of the menorah. It's the year of judgment and execution of that and the carryover of it for the next three years, the next three woes. In Luke 4, 25-27, I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time, but the sky was shut up for three, was shut for three and a half years, 42 months. And there was a severe famine throughout the land. Okay, so this is the, 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 the six months COVID vaccine, vaccine on the first and the last it begins at the end of Donald Trump's first term. It begins at the second, uh, his second term if he gets reelected, and the or the first term of whoever's Joe Biden if, if he's the one going to be elected. And then 42 months, three and a half years. It was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but a widow, Zar, Zarpath, Zarpath in the region of Sidon. And there are many, and so, uh, 2020, 20, this is 2017 to 2020, this is also, this here is 2021 to 2023. 20, at the end of 2020 to 2023. Okay? It was shut up for three and a half years. And Yet Eliza was not sent to any of them. 
Okay, what, what he did is he just, he acted all those things out. He acted all those things out in the spiritual realm. But he, it was victory through humanity for all of humanity. So here you have in, uh, three years plus six months, no rain, is the vaccine plus 42 months, 2020, December 25 to 2023, December 25. And so it, that is part of the, also part of the, of the three years. Okay, of this time chart. You have the great spiritual tribulation and the great physical tribulation. So it's just some quick notes here. In James 5.17, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Okay, and so he brought and, and he brought the famine. That's the famine in Amos 11, verse uh, 8, verse 11. All right, there's a lot of verses here. I'm going to go really quick. I'm going to try here. Daniel 10, 2. Daniel 10, 2. So in those days, Daniel, I was mourning for three full weeks. These make up the three years of 2016. So he prays in Daniel 9. These verses here. So in... Daniel 9 is the, the prayer of Daniel. It's not for our own righteousness, but because of your mercy, O oh God. We are, we are, our faces are, are filled with confusion, as it is this day. And, um, and so here he prays, and then he mourns for three full we weeks, which is three years. So once again, you have 2016 here, 2016. Here's the Sabbath year. Here's the prayer. And here's the three years. Right here. Okay. In those days I was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh or wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole day weeks were fulfilled. And so here... Is, is the great tribulation, spiritual tribulation, for the church. He's feeling it. Daniel is feeling it. There's something happening. And in 1 Kings, so Daniel prayed in a Sabbath year, 2016, to see the Creator, to seek the Creator, to be, to be secured by the Creator for the next three years. And that's found in uh, Kings, 1 Kings 17, Okay, and there had been, after a while, there, the brook was dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Okay, there shall be no dew or rain these years, but according to my word. And that means people who walk in his word. Okay, there shall be no dew or rain these years, but according to my word. According to my resolve, my patriotism, according to my kingdom. The word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn eastward, and hide thyself in the brook of Cherub. So this is Revelation chapter 13, verse, or 12, rather, um, where the church is given, is given wings. And this is in, uh, rather, 2021 20, uh, to 2023, the, the time of the woes, right? There's no rain. Okay, and so here is 20, 2021 to 2023, not, not 2017. 2017 was in, in, uh, in Daniel, where he, once again, where he was saying those prayers. And then what happens um, is the, uh, in uh, Daniel 12, uh, 1 to 3 speaks regarding what the, the great uh, uprisings of Matthew 24. Uh, 21 uh, to 22. And the great physical tribulation. So in, in Isaiah 20, so this is this is not 2017. Um, this is 2021. 2021 to 2023. Okay? Because here, there is absolutely, it's done by His Word. It's great tribulation. Everyone's walking through. And there is no rain. There is, um, th this is where the, 
the, the church goes into the wilderness, given wings in uh, Revelation chapter 12. And they're fed by ravens. Okay? They're, they're covering, because the devils are covering their bases. They, they have not found a way to reign over God. They have not found a way to exist over God. So they're, they're still doing these, these good deeds. They're flattering God. That's why God's invisible. And he's invisible to them as well. But they know. But the fact of the matter is that God is commanding them. And he's just saying, I'll make them know. They say they're Jews but are not. I'll make them know that I have loved you. They will come down before you and bow down before you. They will feed you. And he's talking about the fourth dimension. Also. There's no doubt about that. And so uh, here in Isaiah 1 Kings 18, there's the famine in the land of Samaria. Three years. Amos 8, 11. And um, Isaiah 20, 1 to 6. Isaiah 20, 1 to 6. In the year that Tartan came to Ashdod, when Sargon, the king of Assyria, sent him and fought against Ashdod and took it, at the same time spake by the Lord Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins. And he did so. So here, here it is, where he's walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah walked naked and barefoot for three years, for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia. So this is speaking regarding the spiritual great tribulation. And this is walking na th th those three years, walking naked. As a, as, as a sign and a wonder. So shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians' prisoners. It's happening at the same time. So Donald Trump causing all the uprisings, getting all these followers, stealing all these souls. And the Ethiopians, false covenant holders of the south, captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, with even with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be afraid. So this is the Republicans. This is the church. Everybody in Egypt. Not just them. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia. Their expectation. The golden calf. And those who uphold Donald Trump. And of Egypt their glory. Reveling and basking. In their toys. In, their, in whatever it is. That is in the world. And the inhabitant of. So if I boast. I boast in Christ. And the inhabitant of this isle shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation, whither we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria, and how shall we escape? Okay? So, this is the sign. This is how they receive the blessing with the Holy Spirit, or they, they, they receive the, the revival, and they're told how to escape. They're, they're asking because they're, what happens, once again, is they're, their hope fades. Their hope and expectation, right, is no more. It's taken away. So, here Elijah is naked for three years in 1 Kings 18. So, that's where, that was also, that's also in 1 Kings 18. What he was doing. And it's, it's a, uh, it's also a, like a, uh, a spiritual nakedness. So it's a spiritual nakedness. Second Kings seventeen to five. King of Assyria besieged Samaria three years. So Second Kings twenty four one. And so, so in, in these days also, King King of Babylon came came up, and Jehoiakim became his servant for three years. Then he rebelled. It's great tribulation, right? So Nebuchadnezzar, they, they served Nebuchadnezzar, and then, and then that's it. In Samuel, this is uh, 2 Samuel 21, 1, says the famine. There was a famine in the land of David three years, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered, it is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. Brother will put brother to death. So there's a three-year famine. Second Samuel 24, verse 13. So Gad came to David and told him and said to him, Shall seven years of famine come, into, come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou flee three months before thine enemies while they pursue thee? 
or that there be three days pestilence in thy land. And God says that all these things will come upon this last and final generation. And David said unto Gad, I am in great distress, great distress, great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of men. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to the time appointed. And there died of the people from Dan, even of Beersheba, 70,000 men. This is the earthquake in Revelation chapter 11. And that is where we're headed with this pestilence. Pestilence comes and then the earthquake. And after that great earthquake, seven 70,000 men died. And then, and, and when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil. He changed his mind. And he, uh, he, he just changed his mind at that time. And said to the angel that destroyed the people, It's enough. It's good enough for now. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Aruna, the Jebusite which is where the Temple of Solomon was built. So now the next exodus is in heaven, and uh, the seven, this is the, all oh, this is the this, the, this number here is the judgment of God. It's perfection. It's the, it's the seven, it's the number of God, and, and it is the, uh, the judgment that is going to close the age. It's the judgment that is in it, that is happening when in the time of pestilence. So I hope you're edified. God bless you. Peace be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.